What up, dudes? And dudettes. Just trying to get a 12,000 mile update done on the Honda Passport Elite. For those that don't know, I bought this new and I pretty much made a video periodically every 5,000 miles, something like that. So, needless to say, I got lots of videos on the Honda Passport Elite. Everything from getting stuck in the snow, to putting on tow hitches, to taking road trips. I think I've got about 12,200 miles, something like that. It is Saturday, so I've had a hard time finding a quiet spot for you guys to do my video. Seems like everybody's mowing their lawns, or weed eating their yard, or riding motorcycles. We're kind of close to the airport, so there'll be airplanes flying over. So this is like, I don't know take one million it seems like I've been trying to get this done for a little while so anyways bought this new added that uh, tow hitch because they wanted two thousand freaking dollars at the dealership so I kind of did it myself got some videos showing that did a video on at 10,000 miles and um, hasn't got a lot of views but uh, I think it's a pretty good one check it out if you'd like it's in my playlist for the Honda Passport basically I called this an urban city slicker because it just has a lot of capability and one thing that comes to mind for this 12,000 mile update is freaking value when you got $65,000 SUVs dotting the block this thing is a steal so don't let Honda hear me say that but this thing is an awesome value So one of the reasons that I bought this is because I had some boxes to check. I wanted all-wheel drive. I wanted uh, enough clearance that I wasn't going to get stuck on a freaking speed bump. And I wanted to have a little fun while I drove. I wanted a little bit of enthusiasm or, you know, a little kick in the pants. Didn't want it to be boring. So this has that 3.5 liter V6. And it's at 280 horse. I think the uh, foot pounds is like 262. I haven't looked at it for a while. So I think that's it though. 280 horse, 262 on the torque. And it does have the VTEC. So it is fun to drive. Like, this thing can get up and move pretty good. It's not a sports car by any means, but for an all wheel drive vehicle weighing 4,200 pounds, it's pretty awesome. So, like I mentioned, this is the modern steel metallic color. One of the first things that I did was tint the windows, these front windows, to match the back. Along with all this piano black stuff, uh, wheels, front fascia, mirrors, roof rack, I think the tinted windows is almost a must. One small fail that I had is uh, the license plate. So, they make black license plates in Montana. I'm definitely gonna get one of those 
did have a couple of gripes with this. I did 10 dislikes. I also did 10 likes for the videos. And uh, my, my likes um, definitely outweigh the dislikes. Right now, I can't think of one thing that's wrong with this. Like, around the 5,000 mile mark, I had to bring it into the dealership because the cameras had to be realigned. There's a couple of cameras up here. Not sure if you can see them. So it had a brake mitigation problem. Basically, it thought we were, that I was gonna run into a car and it would shake the wheel and uh, so you had to disable that braking mitigation. I hear somebody mowing. Because why not? Anyways, um, they aligned the cameras again, got that fixed. One of my dislikes was the brakes. They were so dang touchy, but now, I don't know if I've got used to them or maybe they've just broken a little bit, but I actually like the brakes a lot now. <laughs> Weird, huh? So I mentioned I got the windows tinted. Another thing I did is put on this tow hitch. I did it myself because Honda wanted two thousand freaking dollars to put that thing on so about half of the price was labor and uh got about oh, 500 in the tow hitch i think actually i don't even think i had that much in i'd have to look at it the videos again i can't remember but if i if i'm guessing I think the hitch was 300 and then the harness was like 200 so I do not have the auxiliary transmission cooler yet so that's one of the only couple things I did tint the windows throw that hitch on one of the other boxes that I had to check was uh, tow hooks. So obviously the rear hitch serves as that tow hook. And there is kind of a weak sauce tow hook right there. It's the only one in the front, but I'll take it. Better than nothing for sure. So the reason we're out here is a 12,000 mile update. Take a little look. So 12,208. Pretty awesome. It's been a really good vehicle. It's kind of my daily driver for a bunch of reasons. Like I said, all wheel drive. And uh, it's got that sweet engine. And oh, somebody else is jacking up my video. <sighs> Anyways, <clears throat> can't be perfect, I guess. So I really like the Honda Passport. Like I said, some of the um, competitors, like the Tahoe, that's that's just freaking ridiculous. Sixty-five thousand dollars when I got this for a little over forty. I think I paid forty point eight for it. I did kind of want the gray interior. I think it just is a little nicer. This was only a couple hours away. I didn't want to go through the hassle of getting to another dealership and then them screwing me over on the price or 
any of that stuff so I kind of settled with this it's got a ton of room here comes the loud beep I originally test drove a CRV and this thing is twice the vehicle in my opinion like more power just you don't have to deal with the CVT more room more towing capability it's got the rear heated seats pretty good size leg room back here you gotta forgive me it's not super clean but it's not bad lots of cup holders lots of cubby spaces um, it's got these cool shades to roll down so Overall, I'm just stoked about this daily driver. It's just hard to beat for me. I I don't think I've got below 20 miles per gallon yet. And I don't drive very nice. I just, actually that's not true, sometimes I do. But there was uh, just now a, an F-150 EcoBoost um, that I, was messing with and this thing will keep up pretty dang good that 280 horse VTEC isn't a slouch oh, where's the, oh there it is let's see if I can do this with one hand Keep it pretty clean usually. I do have a bunch of four wheeler videos, and I do have a Silverado as well. So I'm about ready to uh, tow a little trailer, actually, it's right there. Actually, gonna hook up to that in a second here and I've got some tree limbs and stuff like that to haul to the dump if you guys got any questions about this hit me up this video is getting kind of long so in conclusion the uh Honda Passport was the right choice for me. I wish it could haul, or I should say tow a little more, but like I said, I've got the Silverado. It's, it's not that big of a deal for me. Well, I hope everybody has an awesome Saturday. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Peace. All right. One more thing before we go. I just started it up and uh, was going to move it. And I was reminded of one of the baddest ass features on this thing. The freaking stereo. And even though it's dusty. It's got awesome speakers. It's got that subwoofer in the back. And... Out of all the vehicles I drive, even the Bose system is not as good as this. I just had some tool playing, and it is freaking awesome. The stereo is very, very good. Alright, now I'm out. Peace!